Strike two. First slumped behind the wheel. Now a no confidence vote against police superintendent Eddie Johnson. That word came late today from the police union. CBS 2's Jim Williams is in the newsroom. And Jim, you found out why they voted against him. And Brad sources tell CBS 2 the FOP board issued the no confidence vote because Superintendent Eddie Johnson is skipping President Trump's speech to the International Chiefs of Police next week in Chicago. The union leadership supports the president. Mr. Trump has long criticized how Chicago leaders handle violent crime, and that was a factor in Johnson's decision not to attend the address. I have issues with um, being attacked as a city, you know. Um, some of the divisiveness that's that's come out of it and you know me as a police superintendent I try not to be political about anything but I just think uh, right now for the sake of the city of Chicago it's best for me to sit this one out. These are difficult days for Superintendent Eddie Johnson a no confidence vote from the police union board today and questions about what he did before he was found asleep in his car last week. Can you tell us how much you had to drink the night you were slumped over the wheel? <laughs> Listen um, as much as I would like to answer you all's questions, uh, there's a pending investigation, so to comment on anything would really be inappropriate. And he assured us. That These Chicago religious leaders asked to meet Johnson this afternoon on another matter they find troubling. And we had some concerns about uh, the superintendent, uh, his involvement in the Laquan McDonald shooting. Inspector General Joe Ferguson's investigation said Johnson was silent when police brass determined the fatal shooting of Laquan McDonald was justified. Johnson was then a deputy chief of patrol. Johnson told the religious leaders the report was wrong. When the inspector general's report characterizes me as having a role in Laquan McDonald, that's untrue. I did. I had no role at all. In her budget address, Mayor Lightfoot touted lower violent crime and gave Johnson credit. And that is thanks to the leadership of Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson, as well as CPD's rank and file. We asked the religious leaders if they felt Johnson was under siege. We're not going to say so much as he's under siege, but how can he effectively give leadership when his leadership is always being questioned? In response to the FOP board's no confidence vote, Superintendent Johnson said this late today, I can't in good conscience stand by while racial insults and hatred are cast from the Oval Office or Chicago is held hostage because of our views on new Americans. Those last words a reference to Chicago's status as a so-called sanctuary city. Mayor Lori Lightfoot is adamant that the police department will not cooperate with Trump administration efforts to deport undocumented immigrants. Live in the newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.